Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of this given nested radical problem by simplifying it in a step-by-step -step process. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here is our nested radical problem. And let's focus on this part right now, 10 times square root of 6. And here I have copied down 10 times square root of 6. And here I can write this 10 as a factor of 2 times 5. And this radical of 6 could be written as square root of 2 times square root of 3. So therefore this 10 times square root of 6 could be written as 2 times 5 times square root of 2 times square root of 3. And now in this next process, let me go ahead and chunk them. I'm going to put these one like this fashion. So this could be written as 2 times 5 times square root of 2 times square root of 3. So let's revert back to our original problem. This nested radical could be written as square root of 53 minus this whole thing I am going to replace by this one. So I can write 2 times 5 times square root of 2 times square root of 3. And now let's focus on this part, 5 times square root of 2. Let me just write down 5 times square root of 2 and then I am going to square it. If I square this thing, that is same as 5 square times square root of 2 square. So that is going to give us 25. 5 square is 25 and then this square and square root undo each other. So 25 times 2 equals to 50. So just keep in your mind this is 50. And likewise, let's focus on this part, square root of 3. I'm going to write down square root of 3. And I am going to square this thing that is going to become simply the square and square root unto each other. We just simply got 3. And now let's revert back again to our this original problem and let's look at this 53. So 53 I can uh, write as a 50 plus 3. So therefore this could be written as a square root of 53 could be written as 50 plus 3 minus 2 times everything is going to be same 5 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 and now let's focus on this 50 50 is same as this 5 times square root of 2 square because this is equal to 50 and likewise this 3 is same as square root of 3 square so therefore, I can write this whole thing as a square root of 50. I'm going to replace it 5 times square root of 2 and then square. And then 3 could be written as square root of 3 and then square. And then everything is going to be same minus 2 times 5 times square root of 2 and then times square root of 3. And now this represents a perfect square if I call this part a square, this part b square and this whole thing, this one is an a and this is b then we are going to use this well-known formula a square plus b square minus 2ab equals to a minus b square so thus we can write this one as square root of 
5 times square root of 2 and then minus square root of 3 square and now we can see that this square and square root they undo each other so we simply ended up with 5 times square root of 2 minus square root of 3. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be a 5 times square root of 2 minus square root of 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.